Greetings, this is Gynthian, and we are playing on the realm of Vastin. I've been working further on my dungeon and different cells that I can create to hold the different professions so that I have people to trade with villagers and I can get cheap diamond armor and diamond weapons. The five villagers that I got out into minecarts have been zombified. A zombie came along and turned them all into zombies, which can be useful because once I cure them, I can give them a profession and they will give me really good trades. Here's the second cell and it's going to use grindstones. Here he goes, let's move him along. Why has he not taken a profession? I need to get him out of the minecart. There he goes. He is still not taking a profession, and it's going to be obvious to everyone but me why he has not. It'll come to me in a minute. I know it's something obvious. Not sure I follow this. I need to get out of the cell. Let's go ahead and use rockets. Cool, that worked. Now let's just drop back down here. Ah, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I'll be back when I get myself back in order. Okay, here he is. And he's a nitwit. That's why he doesn't take a profession. I can't believe I missed that. Nitwits cannot take professions. I'm going to let him out. And bring another villager in here. Let me go get one. And he's in, and he's already taken a profession. That profession is the mason, which is determined by the work blocks, which are all the grindstones around him. But he hasn't been turned to a zombie yet. And by that I mean he hasn't been turned into a zombie and then cured, which means my trades with him it won't be very good. But I have two zombies in a boat. All I need to do is bring the boat over, deposit it in the, in the cell, let the zombie out, he can turn the villager, then I can cure the villager, and I'll get back to good trades. But that hasn't been done with this particular mason. But I can do that. Uh, go ahead and do that now. So I will. Okay, I pushed the zombie into the wrong cube. The wrong cell. So how am I going to get them out? Get an axe to get rid of the boat. And let's jump down and get them out. What could go wrong? Can't reach it from here. Still can't reach it. Crap. Well, at least now I can get rid of the boat. What can I use to get out of here? Ah, ender pearls. I'll just put those here and I can use the ender pearls to get out. That didn't go as planned. That didn't go as planned at all. Good grief. Wow. 
Wow. Now there aren't. Now he's armed to the teeth. But when I cure him, he'll drop all that stuff. And the other zombie is gone. But they've both been converted. So now I need to cure them. Okay, they've been treated with potions. One is healed and the other one is working on it. As soon as he is healed, he'll drop my armor and shield. Armor and sword. And there he goes. Now I can drop down and pick this stuff up. And I am back in business. They've both been cured, so they should have good trades. Now let's go over to the Church of the End. And I'm going to go to the end and get my uh, enchantments worked out on the armor. I actually have four sets of armor to enchant. Now we go through the door and go through the cool drop. And onto the end. It's the other way. So I'm gonna go do some enchanting and I'll be back after that. Okay, and we've got all the armor enchanted and everything is looking good. And I've got some more cells to build for different kinds of prisoners, which I will then be able to utilize to get different items. I have ones for the sword, the axe, and all the armor, which I've gone and enchanted a couple of different sets. That'll be the end of today's video, so thank you for watching, and goodbye. Or thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hope this all makes sense.